If you're trying to find the right security surveillance equipment for your remote locations like a construction site, a farm or even a cottage, chances are you're likely looking for an LTE cellular camera. And the thing is, these types of cameras are really different from your common house security cameras, and for good reasons. In this video, we'll help you understand how to choose your LTE cellular camera, what features to look for, what mistakes you should avoid, and how this technology actually works. All right, let's get to it. So an LTE cellular camera is kind of like your cell phone in the sense that it uses cellular network to send you video alerts and also all kinds of notifications. So there is no Wi-Fi needed. Many will run on batteries or solar panel, which makes them the true real wireless cameras. It's basically your go anywhere cameras. When you're thinking I'm gonna install a Wi-Fi camera and then the range is not so good, well, this is where the cellular camera comes in. Now, since they're pretty unique, there's a couple of things you should look for before buying one. And this is what we're looking at. First, the camera will work only if there is cellular coverage in your area. So you need to make sure with the cellular provider that they are covering the area where you want to install your cameras. Now, if you don't want the trouble of fighting the cellular provider, fighting the SIM card, there is some manufacturers that actually provide the SIM card with the cameras. For example, in all Vosker cameras, there is an integrated SIM card and you can go on their website to see where is the cellular coverage. And now that we're on the subject, cellular coverage means data plan. Again, just like your phone, you need to pay a monthly fee to use these types of cameras. The data is used every time you will send a clip, every time you will go on your camera and do live streaming, or if you want to store anything inside the cloud. So you can see this data plan like an internet bill. So it lets you install the camera anywhere, do your recording, and you just need to pay your monthly fee to be able to monitor your premise. So here, consider how much video you'll actually stream because some cameras are very data efficient, some will consume more. And even some cameras, so let's take the VKX from Vosker, for example, have some different modes on them. So for example, the on-demand mode can be triggered at your will if you want to take a video or a picture of a situation when there is no event. So you just want to see what's going on on a construction site, so you just go on your application, you click on a video and it will send you a clip right away. Most of these cameras are battery powered. As I said, they are true wireless cameras. So you don't need to connect them to any 12 volt. You don't need to connect them to an IP port. You just install them like so and they will record. But you need to choose a solution with a solar panel options. So whether it's a solar panel embedded on your camera or you can buy an external solar panel to power up your cameras, this will save you a lot of time and maintenance on your camera because instead of going on site to charge the battery every month or so, this can help maintain your batteries up to 12 months with no maintenance whatsoever. And just a quick tip here, if you can buy an extra battery for your camera. So when the 12 months go by, you can go on your site, just switch up the batteries, charge the other one, and you're not losing any time of monitoring. Your camera can keep working for another 12 months and then vice versa, you just switch the batteries again. Now, that might be the most important thing. Chances are you will do your monitoring through your mobile phone. So make sure the mobile app is good. Through this application, you will do many things. You will do live view, you will receive your events alert, you will receive different alarms. Even some cameras have speakers on them so you can talk through your phone and then your voice will go through the camera. This will become your daily tool, so make sure it works for you. At the same time, look at what kinds of analytics the camera has to offer because this will save you time and money at the long run. Again, we're talking about cellular and data plans. So the more events you receive, the more data it consumes. So if you have a good AI analytics, you will only receive events that matters. And some do have advanced AI analytics for person detection, vehicle detection, construction vehicle detection, animal detection, 
you can even draw motion zones to really be able to pinpoint any event that happened on a secure area. So this is something to keep in mind when you're looking for an LTE cellular camera. This one might seem less obvious, but accessories are really nice to have. As we mentioned, having an additional battery is great. If you're having trouble getting the signal, well, maybe using an antenna to extend the reach of your signal will help you during the installation. And you even have these kinds of boxes to protect your camera in case you're worried about vandalism on a construction site, for example. It is always good to navigate to the manufacturer website to see what they have in store. These security equipments are investments. You use them to protect something you care about. So having the option to upgrade them will give you a peace of mind that they will stay reliable for years to come. Now, throughout the video, we use Vosker cameras as an example. And truth is, we've met with them at different events, we tested their products, and they're one of the few manufacturers that focuses on LTE cellular cameras. If it's the first time you hear about them, you can look on our channel, our different reviews, or you can also check their website. To recap, don't just grab the cheapest LTE cellular camera you find online. Look for cameras that have a good cellular coverage, that has a data plan that fits your needs, that have AI analytics, that have a nice mobile app, look at possible accessories you can buy for the future and a recommendation from us is to buy from a manufacturer that has experience in that category all right guys i'm jeremy from people systems see you on the next one